Jews should say in the light of that, we need to look very carefully at ourselves as the ANC. This movement, when we say we are presenting an ANC to the population and we say to the people, vote ANC, and the population responds in the way that it has, it means we must look at ourselves. What does this population think of us? We can't say the people are wrong. If there's any wrong, it must be with us. So we must do the necessary correction in order to respond to whatever the complaints of the people are. So I'm, I'm very glad that in the discussion that we had this morning, I think we're of the same view on the matter of renewal. It must happen. Uh, and indeed, I think the point that was also correctly made that as a province, we will act on it, but we should, of course, try as much as we can to do to as much as possible to act together with our national leadership on the matter. Uh, that, 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 is, that, is a, that is very correct. The second matter, which I think also has been at, uh, arose, was mentioned, was raised, that a very important part of the process of, the, of winning back the support of the population, those sections of the population which in the last election seemed to move away from the ANC, to win back that support is going to depend on what we do, not on what we say. So the practical actions, if we are in government at national level, in government in the province, government in municipalities, the population expect that those institutions of government must indeed respond in terms of goods and services expected of government. I'm saying that I'm very glad that the, this meeting of the peace recognizes that, that as a province, we've had the people of the province, what they've said via these elections. And we want to respond to them, not by what we say, but what, what, what we do. Uh, this is a... Uh, uh, when, when the Free State says we are the first province of the ANC, that's not a false claim. Because this is where the ANC was born. And I think we were, were very, very courageous and very correct as this PEC to say, uh, even if we must take leadership with these matters about renewal and service to the people and so on, let's take on that responsibility. Because of historically the position that this, this province occupies in the history of the movement. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I was really very, very encouraged to listen uh, to comrades as they, as they made their remarks, their contributions. Uh, I've got... Uh, uh, let me see. It's something like uh, four pages of notes that I took as comrades were making comments here. And indeed, it seemed to me that uh, the comrades were responding not, uh, not to make agitational propaganda speeches, but to say precisely what should we do? Are our assessments correct? I think the comments made, uh, even about the functioning of the PEC, I think were very important because it's, it's a letter to the issue that, uh, and one of the comrades said this very, very well, that we shouldn't show improvements have been made in terms of the functioning of the PEC, but he said, uh, let's not celebrate too early because there are some other challenges that we still need to address. But that's a signi that signified to me this commitment to make sure that we, we discharge our responsibilities as this PEC as we should. Uh, therefore, that honest, honest appreciation of even our, of our challenges and problems, I think becomes a very important part of the process of finding a solution. 
the uh, the questions, comrades, as you know, that you were discussing, you've been discussing over these last two days, about the state of the movement, the reason for the particular outcome of the elections, and what, to be, what is to be done, are not provincial issues, they are national issues. Everybody, all, all members of the movement are discussing those issues. Uh, I must say this, that uh, fortunately we have uh, uh, a similar invitation from the PEC of Gauteng to have a similar engagement. And so we'll be meeting with them with the Gauteng PEC next week for two days again to go over the same ground. I'm very, very glad that we had this meeting. In a sense, for us, as a trial run, so that by the time we get to meeting number two, there are important lessons that we have learned from, from the way this meeting has been conducted. But you, physically, objectively, you've come first. Yeah. And therefore, necessarily, we'll have to watch what happens in terms of what you do. Because what, what, what you do must, must give an example to the rest. This is what is possible. This is what can be done. That leadership from this province becomes very important. So in that context, therefore, I want to say uh, I, I'm going to invite myself to come back. Uh, I'm not... Uh, well, I'm, I'm, let me not put it like that. I'm telling you I'm coming back. <laughs> The reason for that, comrades, is exactly what I've just said. Uh, to come back to see, not to watch, to see in what way can we help to make sure that the province succeeds in terms of the implementation of the perspectives that have been expressed over the last two days. Uh, so that even if we have to mediate between two comrades are quarreling, we will do that. Uh, so that the, pro the, pro the province succeeds. What happened in the 29th of May elections was a very, very important lesson for the movement. That the things that we say about ourselves as leaders of society and all of that, the population is saying if you say you are our leader, you must demonstrate it by what you do. Uh, and clearly the population saw some things that were wrong, either by omission or commission, and decided to vote the way they did. The Free State PEC took the correct decision to say, let's respond to that. Not on the basis that the people are wrong, but it's because something, something wrong happened from our part, and we must be honest and address that. So once again, therefore, comrades, I'm saying that uh, I'm committing also the comrades that I came with. Uh, I have not consulted them. I don't know, Tommy, if you will defy me. Uh, <laughs> but we'll come back with these comrades. Because I think all of us are very committed to make sure that we give the necessary support to the province so the province succeeds. Because that success lays the possibility for success elsewhere in the country. So, Comrade Chair, I don't know what else you want me to say. But uh, they really very, very well done in terms of these last two days. And very, very well done in the engagement uh, by comrades. Uh, we, yesterday we all listened to presentations, but today we're able to respond, to engage these issues. I'm very, very glad indeed to those engagements. The, uh, maybe the, the, the one last thing that I must raise, which we did not discuss, 
Uh, you know, comrades, that uh, a comrade president Amaposa uh, has been talking about the national dialogue. I'm quite sure that uh, uh, not very long from now, he will make some calls about the national dialogue. He has explained in public what is meant. This is for the very first time in our 30 years that we will have a national dialogue. In the past, when we had, for instance, Codessa, that was a meeting of the political parties. Now it's going to be a meeting of the people of South Africa. Everybody, the political parties, the women's movement, the youth movement, the traditional leaders, the traditional healers, the artists, the academics, everybody, sports people. As an inclusive national conference of the people of South Africa to look at the challenges facing the country and to say, we, the people of South Africa, think as follows about where the country should be. I'm mentioning that, comrades, because it's a very, very important initiative. Uh, and as the president has said, uh, what comes out of that dis dis decision, discussion and decisions by the people of South Africa as a whole, of course, will become an important fundamental base for how government behaves. Yeah. I'm quite sure the ANC will be invited, like the other parties, to participate in that national dialogue. And one of the critical challenges the ANC is going to face is if it continues to view itself as this leader of the people, leader of the people of South Africa, how does it demonstrate that leadership? in that context. You can't dictate to people, you must convince them. So the, we, have, we have, as a movement, a responsibility to engage that national inclusive process to put forward, forward our own ideas, hopefully the population will support us, so that in the end, at the end of that conference, come answers from the population as a whole as to what needs to be done in order to respond to all of these challenges that our country faces. I'm saying it's going to be a particular responsibility of the ANC to make sure that it makes the necessary contribution to that kind of discussion in a national dialogue and therefore help to determine what will be the outcome of that process. So that responsibility to think and make an input in terms of impacting influencing that national dialogue will affect all structures of the of the ANC, including this, this PEC. In that context, I was very, very glad to see that uh, you've already taken a decision to prefer, prepare for a, a retreat, a re to prepare for a retreat of the conference so that you can get into some depth in discussion of these issues. And I hope you would include this particular issue uh, what do we say, what do we do as the ANC to contribute to the success of that national dialogue? But that we've already taken a decision that will go into retreat so that we can look in detail and honestly, frankly, at whatever the challenges are, so that indeed we're able to play by the, our role as this PEC, as is expected of us, that that decision was taken is, is important. Uh, but otherwise, comrades, uh, uh, We've, uh, we've uh, already invited ourselves to that retreat. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we will be together, comrades, as we respond to this. And I'm really very, very, very pleased, very, very pleased to listen to what you yourself said. And I have got a very good sense of the determination of our leadership in this province, our determination really to confront these challenges in an objective manner, in a cool-headed manner, but in a manner that seeks solution to these problems, to make sure that indeed we, we respond properly to the sentiments of our people as expressed in the May 29th elections. So comrades, good luck.
and uh, and wish us a safe journey back to Johannesburg. But thanks a lot.